Hold up. That's a flag on the plate. Let's go. Touchdown. I just scored a whole bucket. bucket. I just dropped a bag on the tag. He ain't nothing. Make on throw a flag when I pass. Come through stand. Call me tired. Girl, I hit the hole. Then I ran it. Get money. Let's go. You ain't trying to get that sack of flag on the plate. Hate in front of the sideline. A flag on the plate. Like Julio with them Falcons. I just made a play. In the red zone. Going strong. Watch me shaking, babe. Let's go. Super Bowl 56 underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. head coach the first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude and you know I might normally ask the cliche what's going through his mind right now but maybe the better question CD what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first time head coach in this game well you know it's something that he thought about Brandon and he had to and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage as the season progressed and he saw that his team was good if he was smart he started to make plans right then and there Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try and run for the Jones. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point. 
point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They use great leverage, help their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Rodgers throwing quickly out to Adams. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Third and seven. as they try to defend this on third. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force him both down. It's going to be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. First and 10 at the 11. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because so someone's going to run for some big yardage. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards from the gun to give to Mixon and he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45 a gain of 13 it's a first down two carries for him now on the opening drive both for good yardage and based on film study they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game Now second and four. Now 
Joe Mixon. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 41. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Set to throw on first. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Adrian Amos, the safety, able to make the play. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Brissett sets to throw it on the screen. Bernard. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. But it'll be second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And two. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. two and we get a signal and a timeout they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two Brissett again Fitter right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. At their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. 
Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two right to the 27. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And eight. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Shotgun now for Rodgers. The kicker here is complete. And they get him down, but now the four takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Try to stop him here on third down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. now for Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Lazard, a good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Second and two at the 38-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And they will finally get to him down at the Bengals' five. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll get the 
this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go. It's no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. And goal. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Operating from the gun, Rodgers. Fourth down as a Cincy defense stands up on third. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Senior trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. And yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Three yards the game there, second down. Settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. This is Mixon. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. The ball carrier. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here.
from the 22. Reset. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Well, I remember they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way. And it's much more successful as well. They'll give it to Mixon. And the Bengals are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. Mixon trying to punch it in. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bengals have taken the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. started as they come up on a first and ten. On play action, Rodgers. They got position on him and he pulls it in. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. First and ten at the 44-yard line. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Oh, they'll try the jet sweep here with Lazard. He's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The 22 more yards there, another first down. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. A quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll go down at the 28. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down is Jones. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Tackled at the 25-yard line. That's a gain of three. It's third and one. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On third down, here's Jones. He's got the first down inside the 10. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. But they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Four-yard line. A 
chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Jones. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneaking. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here, third and goal. Here's Jones, and he'll take this one in. Touchdown! Aaron Jones taking it in. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you got a brand new ball game. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that's going to my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. At the 45-yard line. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. They go play action with percent. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Preston Smith, he's the culprit, dropping him for a two-yard loss. So these two teams will head to the locker room as we hit halftime in Super Bowl 56. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. Taken about seven yards deep. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. drive about to get going they have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three and it's such a tone setter isn't it because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half Field. Let's find out what they have dialed up. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? Well, I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Second down, here's Mixon. And he's upended after a gain of 
42 out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now third down, Brissett. so far that probably should have been their first but at least it's fourth down in a fourth down here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight it's taken to the 26 Turn that time gets 12 yards back. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. They're 37-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. Here's Jones. Yards, first down Packers. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is. It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. On first down, Rodgers. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Gained 16 yards there at a first down again. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. They'll try to run for on first and goal. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop it right around the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll make it second and goal. Second and goal at the nine-yard line. From the gun, Rodgers. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. from Pater. Now it's Rodgers. A screen to Bell. And the stop will come inside the five of the four. And five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. The kick by Crosby is good. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Make sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and force the field goal attempt that went through. At their own 25-yard line.
The Bengals drive about to get going. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, here's Brissett. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. Third down and 10. Territory now. Here's first and ten at the 48 yard line. To throw is Brissett. Going deep downfield for Ross. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. First and goal at the six yard line. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Mixon and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? To credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Second down and goal. We're set. It's caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. T. Higgins. There to make the grab. And the Bengals are going to jump back in front. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch, and the score. Take over at first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But we also have to remember that. Taking the lead. Packers. 
Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. I mean, one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. Sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints first time. Yeah, that one pretty much sealed the deal for New Orleans as well, but I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl two against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison and the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic, Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown. 75 yards. You recall them all. What a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Third down. A man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Here's Brissan. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50. 
50 yards in two plays. Down. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Mixon. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Vanderbilt's own Oren Burks had the tackle defensively. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Throwing on second and eight. Brissett. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Short yardage for Sanders, and he caught it about the six. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. A pickup of two brings up second and goal. Here's a run with Mixon. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Now after that last play, there's a Bengal down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Through a couple of plays, this Green Bay defense is held strong. Now it's third and goal. Here's Brissett. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Intended for John Ross. Incomplete. It's now fourth down and goal. Certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They just get the playoff. Now Brissett, he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. He's on the yard out, and the Bengals have got it back to a one-score game. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. They find themselves open for an easy touchdown. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. Brett Maher is set to kick off. Following the touchdown, here's Maher to kick it away. Turn on this one is a fair catch. A signal four and taken. The Packers take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Talk about low your discretion because we talk about hitting the home run. We usually think about a passing play, aren't we? Something in 
the air, deep ball, but how about them just taking it big time, John? Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. To throw again. Rodgers. Open on the left side. This is back on Scantley. And we brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They'll contain him to just four, second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, that's taken in by the tight end, Josiah DeGuara. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Packers on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This time it's third and three. And again, it's Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. And he knocks the ball away and throws incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. This one go right on the outskirts of the 10. Now down it at the 11 yard line. At their own 11 yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And yeah, we're at the time of the Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. John Ross, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing. Brissett. this across the 25-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first and 10, Brissett. On the screen, Bernard. Gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. more it's percent and incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it and it took the ball off course well that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet won't necessarily reflect in hours right the overall game sheet but you and i know that they keep count on pressures 
hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. Some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now the Bengals on third down. They've hit four of seven. They're up against a third and one situation. now. Brissett. On the crossing right complete. It's Boyd. And down on 11. A big third down play there for the Bengals. And even 40 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. We see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. <laughs> to throw, Brissett. And oh my goodness, what a catch at the six. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun become a little more ho-hum right there. Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Brissett from the gun on third. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Moore able to put this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this Super Bowl has been as good as advertised. Probably one of the best that we've seen in recent memory. All even here in this fourth quarter. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. At the 24-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Working from the gun. Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. at the 33-yard line. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. 
And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They'll contain him to just four, second down. My next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers buying time to his left. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. again now. They can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. So a big spot now for Crosby, but he's been here before. This to break our fourth quarter tie. was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and ten. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Throwing on second and three. Brissett. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. The throw is taken in out of the backfield. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards that time in the Cincinnati first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Mixon with a first down carry. Joe Mixon. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. A seven-yard pick. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, it's Mixon. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame.
They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Fourth and one. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This for the lead in the final stages. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they score too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. ready to get their next drive underway. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of six there on first. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Rodgers to throw. This one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Back to throw. Gets him one more chance here on fourth down. Bates on the coverage.
take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go. Time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. further for third and long. The Bengals go down to a knee in the victory formation. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, standing right around the midfield stripe. It's away, and it's a high kick here, but not high enough to hit the scoreboard here in Dallas. Bengal Nation rejoice. Cincinnati has given you the Super Bowl title. 27. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason... They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights. 